Namaste to everybody. So we've been talking about step one of exercise one, becoming aware of the imagination. We've been trying to observe this. We said we would do it several times during the day. We were to observe without trying to change the imagination, without trying to stop it and without reacting to it in any way not trying to justify it or evaluate it, but just to see what was going on in the imagination. And in the imagination, first of all, we may be able to see the thoughts going on. And we were to try and see the feeling at the base of the thoughts. And if we are not able to see the feeling at the base of the thoughts, we said we would try to deduce the feeling from the thought to begin with. But eventually, we have to be able to see the thought, feel, um, see the feeling, or you can say experience the feeling. As we experience it for ourselves, then it becomes easier. But till then, it may seem like we're lost or we can't see the feeling, but that's okay. We can still keep seeing the thoughts with that um, decision to keep paying attention inside. So what we do, what we able to do this exercise yesterday, we said we would check if the imagination seems to be um, you know, where it seems to be the focus, does it keep changing, shifting, or it, does it stay the same? You may notice that the imagination is going on all the time, but the focus may keep changing. So if we can have some of your observations. On the past, whatever has happened in the last day or throughout the day or during the time before I reflect, the events and uh, or some uh, some discussions and on that there are um, uh, there are thoughts which are mm. you know coming up yes so, yes so. this is very um, this is the natural progression how it will go okay. see when we start paying attention first of all earlier we may not have been paying attention to many small things details even when we were looking outside so when we say now we have to pay attention, it starts with looking outside only, but we are paying attention that like people might say that you know, yeah. I'm getting thoughts about I am walking. Now I'm walking and I'm putting my step one step in front of the next and so on. Yeah. So actually we are there thinking about it and we are um, perhaps recalling the thoughts um, from memory and we are looking at the outside activity. Then we start looking inward and we start recalling thoughts of whatever interactions we may have had with other people. We may have been analyzing things and we recall whatever thoughts we had and that's how the progression goes. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. So eventually, that's how you will. Um, because, see, if you have to observe, like we said, you would have to observe from a slightly higher point. Mm. So, if you're um, you don't have the you know access, maybe to... access, I wouldn't say if you don't have the practice of mm. trying to see from a higher point or, yeah. you know we haven't been doing it that long so it will seem like i can't see i mm. you know i'm I, i'm not sure you know sometimes we are not sure am i observing am i thinking mm. so what you can do is if you give some monotonous task for your mind to work on mm. or mm. for the imagination to do like if you've heard of the relaxation exercises, you know, 
that mm. you lie down or you know whether you lie down or sit or whatever you do if you close your eyes and you go i mean you you draw your attention to the parts of the body one by one inching up from the toes to the head and back down to the toes mm. you know you understood yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah i understood uh, i've done i mean yeah so uh, if you are doing that you will find that you may not be able to do it fully at a stretch somewhere there is a gap sometimes yes or you are um going on that path and then somewhere you take off somewhere else yes and then you come back It's counting uh, uh counting like uh, from backwards 50 backwards so i have done this like and yeah. then you lost the lose the track in yes. between <laughs> so when you are yeah. losing track yeah <laughs> you mm. you're still thinking but you're thinking mm. something else mm. so mm. then when you come back to the thought that oh i was counting or i was doing this relaxation exercise mm. sometimes when you're doing this with the body you won't even remember where you left off absolutely yeah so that is because that observation is not there that's how it happened right didi i missed your last sentence there was some yeah so oh. what that means is that you, you know when you took off hmm. and you were flowing with the imagination you weren't aware yeah so i was not observing that you were time. not observing yes when you come back hmm. now you you are observing that you had taken off yes isn't it Yes, so yes. If you do these kind of exercises, you will realize that we take off so many times. Yes. And that is um, non-awareness when you are not aware Absolutely. that you have taken off. And lot of times we waste lot of time in the day with this kind of thing that keeps going, and we are not aware of it. Absolutely. So if you do these kind of exercises, like. Uh, what i just mentioned that's just one way there could be many things that you can do you will find that your um taking off becomes less and less didi uh, yeah. sorry i mean i have matlab i am i do this mm mm-hmm. um i mean this is standard i mean yoga nidra or meditation mm-hmm. practices may begin mm-hmm. with this um generally the inference we get when we take off mm-hmm. is that i mean now i am getting a right in i mean kind of a different inference i am drawing from the same take off so generally we take if we count directly 50 to 1 for example then we are observing and at the activity but if we take off that means we have lost somewhere mm-hmm. and we are not observing mm-hmm. but if we generally that is uh, we are not in awareness Mm-hmm. so generally ta- that can be mis con- i mean conceived as a state of meditation maybe <laughs> because mm-hmm. we are not aware mm-hmm. about where we are going mm-hmm. right so many times it happens that so i mean when we are able to count something or decide the activity and do it it's a structured way of our imagination and we because we are observant we are doing we are able to do in that way is it that way or yeah i mean you see um, there we are deciding now consciously that i am going to do such and such thing yes right but when we are saying just observe then we are mm. not structuring it yes we are just observing whatever is going on i am observing yeah so there is no guiding force there guiding force is always there always the there yeah of natural acceptance <laughs> yes not But in this I, kind of uh, rule or i am uh, not structuring it consciously there mm. no i am just observing mm. Mm. that pure observer mm. at the level of natural acceptance from there if i see i will just observe the thoughts the feelings flowing mm. um and i just you know from time to time i will see it sometimes mm. i don't see it mm. and when i don't see it then you know at some I, point i recall that oh i was supposed to be observing 
So I come back to observing. Yeah. So, so, so simple. Yes. So simple. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is very simple, but yeah. very significant. Very. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Didi. So I will continue this way, right? Yes, I mean, yes. there is no. Hmm. Yeah, you can continue this. Slowly, yeah. uh, your ability to see also becomes more and more as we, you know, keep doing the practice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Amrish Patilji. Yeah, good morning, Didi. Good morning. Audible, Didi? Yes, very much. Yeah. It was all with the day, the thoughts were continuously coming, and uh, all thoughts uh, were uh, most of the time with the expectations and uh, trying to prove myself better and uh, uh, trying to create a favorable situation and all that. Mm-hmm. Whenever uh, uh, Expectations are not met or not in line with expect uh, with the with the thoughts that they are there. There is disturbance, really. That's what is being observed all the day. And uh, when expectations are not in line, or the expectations are not met, are not met, really. Yeah, that's uh-huh. what. Uh, uh-huh. Not in line with. Uh, that means I, when I, to give an example, there was some requirement of some material. Uh, so I called my friend. Uh, mm-hmm. I was expecting. Material is there, then it, it goes with the cost. Then there is disturbance within me. The moment he he, he responds yeah. in that sense, that way. Yeah. So yes. mostly the this is what I had been able to. Observe. Nice, very nice. Yeah. Keep observing. Very good. Nice. Thank you. But thoughts are continuously coming in. But the only thing I have to be alert, look into. Otherwise, uh, I will be drifting out and trying to look outside, and uh, I will not be looking what is happening with it. Mm-hmm. That's what. I'm mm-hmm. see. That's okay. That'll happen. And whenever it happens, just as soon as you realize that you're not observing anymore, just come back to observing. That's it. Gently come back to observing. Yeah. Hello, am I audible? Yes, yes. Uh, namaste, Didi. Namaste, everyone. Just one moment, uh, Devi Prasanji. Yes, yes. Oh, I think uh, Amrish ji lost his connection. Okay, go ahead, Devi Prasanji. Thank you. <clears throat> when I sat uh, for observation, mm-hmm. uh, in a very calm, quiet atmosphere, mm-hmm. my attention went out outside. Mm-hmm. Birds cheering outside. Mm-hmm. The sound. Mm-hmm. Then next moment, I came back and uh, I felt calmness inside. Then my attention was there on my inhale and exhale. Mm-hmm. I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And then my observation shifted to some household problems, issues. Mm -hmm. I again came back to observe. Mm -hmm. Then again, sound went outside Mm -hmm. towards the bars and the the various sounds of the vehicles Mm -hmm. passing by and all that. And uh, again, outside to the sounds of made by the bars. Then there was some mobile message sound in my house from somebody. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was reminded of 10 minutes time, whether when it will be over. And, uh, <laughs> and next time mm-hmm. I was comfortable. To, I don't know region. Mm-hmm. And again, uh, household issues. Then I was waiting for the 10 minutes time to come. Mm-hmm. This is all that within that 10 minutes I have done. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. See, uh, this is what we were saying. That when we start, we, we tend to start with looking outside only. Or thoughts of the outside. Because that's our practice. No, We have been looking outside. 
so you will get thoughts of the outside or thoughts of you know immediately what happened or um, your interactions with the outside world and so on and then slowly as we keep looking inward then our attention will shift inside and um what you mentioned no this thing of you felt when is the time going to be up the 10 minutes yes this is in a way our restlessness <laughs> because we are um, so used to looking outside that when we have to sit by ourselves it is somewhat difficult because it looks like um, we are you know you feel like you're missing something out there it's like you know i i think of it like a small child when you um ask them to go to sleep at night they don't want to go to sleep it's like they're going to miss some activity and if they could realize how um nice you feel when you go to sleep you feel rested and so on they would perhaps go to sleep but they don't they keep resisting keep fighting it because they think that this is better something that i am some interaction i'm doing outside is better yes so similarly we also keep wanting to go back to the outside so we feel restless when we are trying to sit quietly and sit for 10 minutes and just observe within and all it seems like a task but as we keep doing it and we you know are actually getting to the observing part then it becomes easier and it becomes not so difficult to do in a sense you you don't want to keep rushing back outside so then that stability will be there so it's only practice we just have to keep doing it yeah yeah i was telling that yeah suppose you tell a child hmm. don't see rather it may work what it, so the negative uh, i mean what to say i don't know but uh, this works is the human psychology what uh, if you tell uh, what if you tell the child don't sleep now <laughs> child try try to sleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes okay so to to parent children the sometimes this desire also followed sometimes anyway anyway yes but we will not say that don't look inside <laughs> because anyway we are looking outside most of the time yes yes nice okay uh navin kumar ji madam good morning uh, good morning to all good morning after long time we are hearing you yeah <laughs> Yes, I'll be there, but uh, I was just not uh, sharing. Nah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I thought to just chance to others. Uh, I'm yes. repeater. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, uh, uh, my question, like I was uh, uh, now and then used to do uh, a listing of my imagination, what is going on in imagination, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. not uh, sitting comfortably one side. So morning mm-hmm. I started bit early. so i was listing uh, what was there in imagination mm-hmm. so initially uh, it was like uh, what happened yesterday so then i again shifted back to it is not what happened yesterday what is going on right now mm-hmm. so there are some eight to 10 things i have listed out of that uh, uh, again one thing came like i said i had uh, uh, like junk food so it was like uh, feeling uh, when i try to catch what is the feeling it is like a guilt So I was not comfortable. It is definitely it's a feeling of opposition, right? Mm. And uh, uh, here my one question is uh, the guilt where I need to place in these nine feelings. No, yeah, no need uh, to opposition. place anywhere. Just observe that you are feeling mm. guilty. That's it. Mm. Just observe that. Um. See what happens is we want to give things a name. Oh. it's not that's not the important part the important part is mm. to trying to see that for yourself no mm. um i would say just observe as it is what you mentioned mm. you said also no yeah ma'am 
feeling of opposition feeling of guilt now you yeah. are you are not accepting your own self isn't it at that point yeah. when we say you know when we say feeling of relationship right yeah. a feeling of relationship may we have specifically given all those nine feelings when we interact with others and so on within oh. yourself also if you have for yourself a feeling of non acceptance or a feeling of opposition if you want to call it that for yourself then it will be guilt isn't it yes sir so regardless of the name that we give to it but the important point is to observe it within you yeah so you are able to see yeah. that yeah and even if you are getting thoughts of what you did yesterday and so on that also you can observe rather than no no i am not supposed to think about that i am supposed to think of what's happening now mm-hmm. but now also you can have thoughts of yesterday or day before or many days before so whatever yes. thoughts you are having don't try to structure it or change it or plan it and then see try to just see whatever is going on yeah yes ma'am it's like uh, you know i am reminded of um, when we used to be in the medical college and we used to be in the hostel and we used to be reading or you know supposing there was vacation time and we had free time but we couldn't go home so we were in the hostel so many of us would sit down to chat and then nobody comes up with anything you can't think of anything so somebody would say let's read the book let's open our textbooks and read the moment we used to open the textbook and start reading now people used to come up with all kinds of sharings no you do you remember this do you know this and all of that then mm-hmm. the chatting would start so correct the thing the thing i'm trying to say is that if we are just you know no i have to see right now what is it i mean it may seem like i'm blank that i don't see anything mm. but um just keep with that decision to observe slowly you will start observing yesterday also what happened theek hai whatever your thoughts are coming they are coming na that means we are thinking just... something just observe whatever it is you are thinking whatever it is you are feeling just observe okay yeah and one more uh, hmm. instead of uh, we are saying like directly how to catch the feeling instead of thought to directly catch the feeling so if you go directly to the feeling how can i go directly feeling without what is the thought for what purpose i am getting that feeling see feeling uh, is what you, you feel school? yeah feeling is what you feel and you will notice that with that feeling only the thoughts are flowing correct so if you are you know at the base that feeling is there mm. so like you could observe the feeling of guilt you could also yeah. observe that you didn't feel comfortable with it that is the observation mm. of the feeling that's what it is it's very simple actually but it's yeah. just that when we don't see it we it seems like so difficult first feelings comes later uh, uh, thought comes is it so you see in yourself how does it seem that's how it is and below that we see we have to see the sanskar yeah Correct. deeper to the feeling is the sanskar but we'll come to that mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you have been no. through this exercise, so you are yeah, aware. Correct. But correct. we'll come to that for yeah. everybody. Yeah. Abhi to we are trying to you know work with the thoughts and the feelings. True, true, ma'am. Yeah. Just have to check whether the feelings coming or thought coming. Just come back again. No, you don't have to check. See, you mm. can have mm. the thought and at the same time have the feeling at the base of the thought. so it's not like is it a thought or is it a feeling it's not like two separate things i mean it is separate things but uh, it uh, is like there there are separate activities within you but they can be going on simultaneously no simultaneously yeah mm-hmm. so you have some thought 
but there is also a feeling attached or feeling at the base of it deeper to it and actually that is what is driving your thought but uh, you just feel it like you mentioned hmm. you you felt it no you Correct. saw that feeling of guilt Correct. That's how it is. You just see the feeling. Keep observing that thoughts, feelings at the base of the thoughts. Don't try to structure it or analyze it or give a name to it and all of that. Just observe. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we'll go forward a little bit. Um. more problems that uh, people have shared when i try to observe my imagination i get a headache or sometimes i feel sleepy so why is that so if you you know it's like a reaction i have to observe i have to observe i have to observe you're trying to force yourself to observe then that it will seem like something very difficult to do so you may have these kind of symptoms you may have a headache or if you lose interest that i can't see forget it now somewhere your um, decision to observe has become weak and then you fall asleep so that can happen also sometimes people are just trying to see the imagination through the eyes how you will see through the eyes people try to even with eyes closed they are trying to focus somewhere on the head or somewhere in the eyes or something like that and you're trying to see trying to see so that can cause headaches or you know some heaviness or something but if you just say you take this decision that you know i was looking outside now i need to look in whatever i see i will see so there may be things you don't like to see that's okay still keep seeing that is a part of your own thoughts your own feelings just keep seeing um so what you have to take is, what you need to do is decide that i am going to try to be aware and try to observe and don't try to force it don't try to sort of structure it that this is what i have to see no just observe whatever you are seeing and if your attention gets you know lost or you are you stop observing and you start flowing with the thoughts then whenever you come back to it whenever you realize that you drifted no need to have guilt or you know any kind of um reaction you can just see that oh i drifted now gently bring it back to observing get back to your decision to observe don't try to use the eyes to see the imagination of course you don't need the eyes and try to be aware every moment if you lose awareness just notice it and get back to awareness without any reaction so this is what we have to do <laughs> this also was a question that people have asked that when you say the imagination goes elsewhere where does it go so people said you know that imagination you said imagination is there all the time so what do you mean when you say get back where are you getting back from so you'll notice that two things are going on inside you i mean we've been talking about it but we'll try to clarify it you know because there may still be some of us who may have questions regarding this so two things are going on inside you one is that imagination which is going on continuously in the b2 block the second thing is this decision now we have taken to observe this imagination that we have to do from the b1 block so there are two different activities and it can go on simultaneously 
but because we are not used to it or we haven't had much practice in observing so a lot of times we don't see it it's like that example when we uh, you know example of the stream flowing so if a stream of water is flowing and i am flowing along with the stream then i may not be able to get a clear picture of this water flowing but if i am sitting on the side of the stream and i am watching the the stream the water in the stream flowing now i can see it very clearly and similarly what we described yesterday that um, ashutosh ji i think shared that when i am observing i don't um you know even if i have that time a feeling of opposition or something i am not so disturbed by it so if you are flowing with the stream i mean this can be one way of looking at it as an example just to try to understand it so if you are flowing with the stream and there are rocks you know um on the bed or you know on just below the water then the water it just sort of jumps or bounces over the rocks and all of that and goes so when you are also flowing with the imagination then you will have all those you will feel all those disturbances and all of those but you may not be aware of it now when you are observing from sitting at the side of the stream you find that even though the water is flowing on top of the rocks and everything you are not disturbed because you are not flowing with it you are watching it so two things are there the imagination in the b2 block that is going on all the time the second is the observation of the imagination which can also go on all the time but right now we don't have the practice of doing it so some of us may be able to observe sometimes some of us may not be able to observe but many of us may be able to observe for small bits of time here and there this observation is in the b1 block so when you temporarily stop observing when you temporarily start flowing in that stream now you have lost awareness so you may think that nothing is going on but you are actually flowing you are flowing with it so when you are you know by the side of the stream you can clearly see it that is observation from v1 but when you jump into the stream and you flow with the water now you are flowing with the imagination you may not be able to observe clearly and so you might say that you know nothing is happening so when you when we say you know um get back you were flowing with the stream now you get back to observing somewhere you are you know you suddenly remember that you were to be observing so you come back to observing when we are reacting we are actually again flowing in the stream why did i why oh, i should not have all this and i should have thought of this i should have done this that is all reaction come back to observing yes any questions regarding this so what we'll do is we'll do a 10 minute observation now so i'll mute myself for 10 minutes we'll try to do this observation again we are just observing our thoughts our feelings and if you like you can note them down that might be helpful but for 10 minutes i will mute myself and we'll come back to taking your observations
Okay. So we've been observing for about 10 minutes now. And we can take your sharings in the chat that when you said flow with the stream, even though I'm listening to you, one second, my thought went to the place of incident associated with the stream and came back to listen to you. So when we are um, listening with the help of, see, when we are talking about this, um, you will naturally observe the stream, but flowing with the stream would be that you start thinking of maybe some past incident when you went to some stream, something like that. And you are no longer aware of what I am saying. That would be loss of awareness. But if you are very much hearing what I'm saying and you are having that image of the stream, then you're just trying to understand you haven't lost the awareness or you are not you know, flowing somewhere else with the imagination. So that I just wanted to clarify. Um, Chandrasekhar ji is saying that number of thoughts I'm getting is very less and less. So keep that open. Is it that the thoughts are less or is it that I'm observing few things and the thoughts may be plenty? So continuously, con continuously thoughts are coming. This also uh, has been come up, has come up sometimes that when you're trying to see your imagination, it will seem like you can see it for some time and then it is as if it's blank. There's nothing there. So you might think there are no thoughts. Now, imagination is going on in the B2 block. Observation is from the B1 block. So if B1 is not fully activated yet, and if we are thinking without observing from B1, that means we are flowing with the stream, then it may look like there is no imagination. That is one possibility. That is the most likely possibility when we are starting this because that ability to observe is not fully, you know, um, we are not able to do it properly because we don't have the practice. Another possibility is that when you are observing your imagination, you find that there is something in your imagination that is very disturbing to you, that is making you very uncomfortable within. So without being aware, you stop that particular imagination. So it may seem like you're blank for that moment. Then again, the work of imagination will start. But whatever we may be seeing, or even if we are not able to see, even if it looks like we have very few thoughts, keep observing. Just observe without evaluating, without judging, without reacting, without changing, without stopping, without trying to think what you should think. Okay. So this is what we have to do. Again, today we'll be doing this observation. Try and as many times as you can, try and remind yourself to observe within. It need not even be like a phone reminder or some chit or something. You could just tell yourself mentally that you know, when I get into the car, when I'm going, I will just take a moment to see what is going on in the imagination. When you're getting off, again, remind yourself, I have to observe what is going on inside. So like this, what is happening is, it is like we are at least for a few moments now and then, now and then, even when we are doing our regular activities, it is like we are drawn back to what am I thinking? Just one look inside. Slowly you will find that as you keep reminding yourself like this from time to time, you know, in various things, you could decide that before eating my food, I will remind myself to observe what is happening inside. So like that, many, many times during the day, you can put reminders for yourself, even if it is for brief moments or 
you may be busy with other things but it is a reminder so it helps you with that decision to pay attention inside and as you keep doing this you will find that slowly you may not need a reminder and you will be able to observe more and more how this source shifts i mean it continuously keeps on shifting or i mean something which is stronger trigger shifts the source of your imagination like i wouldn't call it source i would say object of imagination object okay isn't it because yeah uh, we have the ability to think we have the ability to have this imagination and we are having the imagination yes. so whatever is important to us we think about that mm -hmm. so that is how the object of imagination keeps shifting because right now something one thing is important and mm. like you rightly mentioned that that you know you had some feeling now when your expectation was not met now the feeling changed perhaps mm. so you had feeling of opposition so like this you will notice that the thoughts and the feelings keep changing yeah keep shifting so the object of imagination i would say keeps shifting based on whatever we think is important at that time Hmm. Okay. And like you said that, then the feeling shifts, and then the, I mean, you are into a storm of that, and the thought yes. pattern completely changes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Try to remind yourself various times during the day to pay attention to the thoughts and the feelings, and try and sit down and do it also at least once or twice in the day if you can. because that will be a focused effort on this